Hello and welcome back to Top 5 Ethiopia. Today, we're diving deep into the controversial yet transformative project that's been making headlines, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, also known as GERD. Since it's situated in the Binishangulgumas region of Ethiopia, approximately 14 kilometers east of the Sudanese border, GERD is a gravity dam under construction, set to harness the power of the Blue Nile River. When completed, GERD will stand as Africa's largest hydroelectric power plant and one of the world's top 20. The filling phases began in July 2020, and by September 2023, water levels soared to approximately 625 meters. This extensive process involves careful management, estimating a four- to seven-year duration contingent on hydrologic conditions. In February 2022, GERD marked a milestone by generating its first 375 megawatts of electricity, signaling the initial phase of its operational capacity. Subsequently, a second 375 megawatts turbine commenced operation in August 2022. The roots of this colossal project trace back to the during the reign of Emperor Haile Selassie. However, political unrest and conflict disrupted progress until surveys resumed in the late 2000s. In March 2011, Ethiopia awarded a $4.8 billion contract to Salini and Pregelo, laying the dam's foundation stone the following month. Initial expectations foresaw power generation turbines becoming operational by early 2015. GERD's cost prompted internal financing methods due to a lack of international support. Ethiopia relied on bond sales and employee contributions to fund the project. Over time, GERD's design evolved altering both its electrical parameters and storage capacities. Originally aiming for 15 generating units, the plant's planned capacity shifted to 16 units, each with varying nominal capacities. Dam's potential repercussions have triggered significant regional controversies, particularly between Ethiopia and Egypt. The former seeks hydropower potential while the latter fears water scarcity. But here's the twist. Despite the controversies, Experts believe that GERD might actually be a game-changer for the entire region. First off, let's talk about Ethiopia's ambitious plans with this dam. With completion reaching 90%, GERD is set to revolutionize the country's energy landscape. Generating a whopping 6,500 megawatts of electricity, it's primed to double Ethiopia's annual electricity output. This means connecting more of the population to reliable power, a critical step for progress and development. But it's not just Ethiopia benefiting from this project. Sudan, once skeptical, has shifted gears. Concerned about annual floods wreaking havoc on its lands, Sudan now sees potential in GERD to regulate these floods, offering a glimmer of hope for stability and better resource management. However, Egypt remains staunchly critical. The Nile is life for Egypt. 97% of its population relies on it for freshwater. With fears of reduced water flow, Egypt perceives GERD as a threat to its very existence. This emotional tie to the Nile is deep-rooted and intensifies Egypt's opposition. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Despite tensions, experts agree on one thing. A military conflict seems unlikely. Why? Well, attacking GERD now, with its reservoir almost full, could cause massive flooding downstream in Sudan, something neither Egypt nor Sudan desires. Moreover, Egypt lacks the economic resources and global support for a military solution. GERD isn't just about Ethiopia, Egypt, and Sudan. It's a regional issue with broader implications. Climate change exacerbates water scarcity, making projects like GERD both a necessity and a potential source of regional tension. Countries like Saudi Arabia and the Gulf nations have weighed in, showing solidarity with Egypt's quest for sufficient water supply. But here's the catch. While GERD is a modernization marvel for Ethiopia, it also underscores the delicate balance between development, environmental dependencies, and the looming threat of climate change. It's not merely a water issue, it's a regional challenge that demands collaboration and sustainable solutions. So, what's the bottom line? GERD is more than a dam. It's a symbol of progress, tensions, and the intricate ties between nations. While concerns persist, the potential benefits for Ethiopia and the region at large are hard to ignore. As the project nears completion, the world watches, waiting to see how this ambitious venture will reshape the Nile's dynamics and the geopolitics of the region. 
And that's a wrap for today's Top 5 Ethiopia. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more intriguing insights, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, here on Top 5 Ethiopia.